guys we made it to japan hey my first cave in look at that man of the hour what up currently at a brand new daihatsu dealership i guess this is where day one is gonna start off also next to a big big motor dealership as well but this looks like a Suzuki. It looks like a Suzuki Auto, actually. I think this is what the new ones look like. From here, I can see it says CVT. The price is seventy thousand, which is around like fifty-five hundred. This is. I'm not sure. Looks cool though. We got a Nissan, a Suzuki. I don't know. I can't read it. But some more over here. We got a couple cars that we're gonna see that I love. This is a Honda N-Box. This is a Nissan K-Van, but look at this. Oh my, so unfortunate that America didn't get these. Shout out to Josh if you're watching. You know what rims those are. But it sucks that we didn't get these. This looks like it's around like 22,000. Such good looking cars. Like you couldn't tell me that this wouldn't do good in the American market. Like. I hope that eventually Suzuki in America figure something out so this could be available in 2000 and I don't even know 27 or something I'm loving the purple on this van what else I don't think there's some other cool stuff over here so now let me walk over to Daihatsu and check those out how much is that like 70 so like seven 7500 I imagine 900,000 has to be like seven grand. Okay, seven? Maybe like 6,500. And can you tell if this is brand new or not? You it can't... says right here, it says 200 or 2,000. Oh, that's the kilometers? Yeah. 2,000 mm. kilometers. All right, all right. This is a used one. That one has 2,002. This one looks like that um, PIO or something like that. Like PIO. Yeah, I don't know. That yeah, one. that looks like that type of K car. This looks like a Mini Cooper. Jiminy gang, that's gonna be a good clip right there. Hopefully this channel gets big enough where I'll be able to change the laws and we'll be able to drive these in America one day. Never say never. Cause look how cool these are, 18,000. So that's around maybe like $14,000 brand new. That's crazy. Another one over here. Some other cool things. Look at this. Oh, I thought I said high jet. It's called the Traft. I'm pretty sure that's a high jet version of something. This is nice though. I like this. But what is this? This is a new caveman, basically. Yeah, look, yellow plate. Wow. All right. Currently waiting on this Evo to get worked on. And I believe after that, we're gonna go to Super Auto Backs, which is like a crazy advanced auto parts, auto zone, pet boys type of store. They got some really cool stuff though. It's actually better than all those combined. It's like the Japanese version, but I'll end this here. Pretty cool start to the day. Here's a closer look at that Porter cab, like 2,500 bucks. This opens up and you get your little ball chiller. Interior is not bad. Four speed. Bed again isn't that bad. First car we see out here has plates, so I'm not sure if that means it's registered or not. And then we have this Honda Acti. This one is not in Port Legal yet, so it's only like 1200 bucks. Pretty cool though. This one doesn't seem too new though. It's probably like, I wish I can read it. I don't see the year anywhere, but it has 120,000 kilometers.
so we made it to the next stop time to walk around and show you some things what would i want to buy oh i definitely want to buy these but these i believe i can get for a lot cheaper these are the same ones that we find for 100 yen right yeah. uh, how much are they here uh 900 definitely don't want to pay that much got some door mirror guards some banksy stuff what is this this is a keychain ah it's a keychain that's cool this is what i mean by like i'm gonna buy a lot of this stuff for youtube obviously i'll give some shout outs and free stuff on youtube but for the people on the patreon like i'd love to buy one of these keychains and just show some love give it back to you guys Wow, do they have any cars that I like? What's he looking at? Oh, these type R things? Typical. <laughs> typical, typical, typical. I wish I paid attention to what lights my cappuccino have. I could look it up right now, but I think I could buy some of this stuff online too. But I think I have an H3 bulb. And this is like 50 bucks. I'm not sure if that's a good price or not. Hopefully I don't regret not buying this right now. But the lights in the cappuccino are, like I mentioned, terrible. And I believe it's pretty hard to find H3s. Actually, I might come back and buy them. We're going to find out. But I know this is good for like the Acties and stuff. I've used this before. You know what? Whatever. Let's just buy it. If I don't use it, I'll figure it out later. Haven't added too much to my cart, but I think I'm going to walk back to that section from earlier and add some things. There's nothing necessarily that I'm looking for. It's more just, I'm here, probably not coming back to this exact store. Let me just buy a bunch of stuff. And hopefully some of you guys want to buy some of it. And if you don't, I'll just continue to hoard like I always do. Like stuff like this. I know somebody watching this. Definitely, oh, they don't have any in black. Oh, they do. I know somebody watching this definitely wants one of these in black. So I'm going to buy one for myself. And then I'm definitely gonna buy one to sell. Cause I know somebody watching this definitely wants a black one. Ooh, they have some more here actually. These red ones are pretty generic and a lot of people have them, but this black one is fire. Actually, let's buy all, yeah, let's buy three. Uh, no, let's buy four. I think a lot of you want this. Hopefully I don't regret spending all this money, but I think you guys definitely want that. Something I wanna do maybe before I leave is I wanna get one of these double dins from Japan. I know I won't be able to use a radio or anything, but I think it'd be cool if every time I start my car, it shows this. Like it'll show its last location in Japan. And I want it to also be able to play like movies and TV. So maybe I'll find one for like that price or, you know, under like 500 bucks. I wouldn't mind spending that just to have a, a flex in one of my cars. I think 2024, I'm gonna do a lot of crazy builds and I wanna continue to push the envelope like I just did with that cappuccino. So, I might buy one of these before I leave here. Just got to the toy aisle. Definitely grabbing one of those. I grabbed two of these. I don't really care about them, but I think some people watching this most likely do. We've got an ARC-7, S15. Actually, no, nah, I keep one of them. Evo. I'll get another one just in case somebody wants to buy one. Got some more keychains. Some more Liberty Walk stickers. I don't see a lot of K's there. Where was the K car love? Update on my cart though. Found this NSX thing. I think that's cool. I'm gonna give one to Jamar. I know I don't know if he's seen it yet, but I know he definitely wants this Evo. And he has an NSX. Just made it to the second floor. There's actually a really nice Fiat Abra parked outside. And now I see why. They have a lot of abroad specific parts. Pretty cool to see all this in Japan. I think this whole little shop right there has that. Wow, this all for a Fiat. Definitely got to get a steering wheel for the um, cappuccino, but... Wow, I would love to get this Nardi, but I don't think that's really something I need right now. Wow, look at this. 
I know a Honda guy that's over there somewhere who's gonna have the time of his life looking at all this Mugen and Honda stuff. You guys know I'm not a Honda fanboy. So I'll definitely show it for the camera, but I will not be buying a Mugen shift knob or one of these oil caps. Although they do look pretty sick. Nismo stuff on this side. Wow, the store is nice. I didn't think it had all this stuff. We're not even near like the other things. All right, this is stuff I'm interested in. I know there's someone watching that's gonna want one of these shift knobs. So should I get a tall one or a short one? I get a tall one. It kind of shows the flowers a little better. So we will be buying that. Damn, I wish I could somehow live stream. I mean, I could technically go live right now, but I wish I could live stream and show you guys this because there's probably somebody watching this that would not mind paying, what is this, like 30 bucks, 40, 50 bucks for a shift knob. Maybe even some of the spoon stuff over there for the Honda fanboys that do follow me. The Toyota dudes, the TRD people. These Recaros are pretty sweet. That's kind of what I have now. I need something like this. Like I still want some bolstering, some to still hug me in because it is technically still a sports car. But the current setup I have now is just a bit too aggressive for my liking. Look at the size of that turbo. I wonder what VIN that is. Some air filters, some advents, Gretty shift knob. I don't know if anybody watching would pay a hundred bucks though, so we're not gonna grab that. Maybe after I post this video, everyone watching could let me know like, hey, I would pay a hundred dollars for a Gretty shift knob, let me know. I would pay this much for this HKS coaster thingy. And then next time I come across it, I'll buy for you guys. Boy, your boy isn't made out of money, so I'm not gonna do it just yet. Wow, these are beautiful. Like, one day, one day I'll buy some of these crazy things, like these endless brakes. Bunch of brake pads. Over here, we got some bushings, some pulleys, control arms. That paint job on the alternator is cool. Deffy gauges. More exhaust work, some coilovers, some filters. Should I get some sponges to bring back? Oh wow, I've never seen one in black. That's pretty sick. Oh wow, that too. HKS coilovers. Over two grand. Wow, oh, I like these pillows. That's cool. That's actually super cool. What should I get on the HKS side? I gotta buy something. I haven't got anything HKS. Oh, this lanyard is nice. I know I should get you guys something too. I think somebody here is gonna want this lanyard. So I'll buy it for myself. If somebody wants it, just hit me up. What's this? Oh, this is a patch? Woo! I like this. Yeah, I'm buying this because I could have someone put this on one of my clothes. I'm gonna see if I find more of those patches here because I could make like a nice way for the fame jacket and just get them patched up everywhere. That'd be pretty sick. I don't know if Japan knows how good they have it. We do not have stuff like this in America. Like just laying around. <laughs> and it's for sale if anyone's wondering. No K, no life. That t-shirt's coming soon. Oh, they got some shirts here actually. What's this? Oh, a towel. That's pretty sick. Should I grab a towel? I just want to buy everything, honestly. I really want to buy everything. But I can't. But I am going to buy a towel. I'm new to the cappuccino game, but I do know that Monster Sport 
is one of the companies that make parts for the cappuccino. I don't see the VIN, so maybe nothing here is cappuccino specific, but I might buy one of these just cause. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna buy some more headlights. I looked it up and my cappuccino is H3 and H1. So I already got the H3 here. These are my low beams and now I'm gonna get some H1s for my high beams. And now I got some brand new headlights. One thing taken care of. So I think I'm in this video here. I want to show you this pretty decked out Jimny I found. Aftermarket tail lights, over fenders, big tires, five speed, Nardi, black on black on Blizzak. I like that. And then this is actually a drift car, which is pretty sick. Got some battle wounds, makes it even better. And then we're about to be driving in this NSX. Just when I thought day one couldn't get any better. I am currently driving an Evo 7, following Jamar and his NSX. And the fact that I'm even driving in Japan is just crazy. And the fact that I'm driving this caliber of a car is just, stay tuned for the rest of these videos. It's gonna be a very fun three weeks. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to my first ever auction, really ever. I've never been to any car auction in America or Japan. And we're going to the biggest one, USS Tokyo. And then the next day, we'll be going to Daikoku PA, the very famous car meet that they have every Friday out here. And then Saturday, I'm going to a bunch of up garages, gonna be buying more things. I'll see you before I end this video. I'll show you guys everything I bought today. And if someone wants to buy something, uh, message me. I'm definitely gonna let Patreon get first dib, so I guess whatever is left there you guys can buy. But over the course of this month, basically, I will be buying a lot of stuff. Some stuff that I'm gonna show now, some stuff that I'm just gonna wait till I get back home. But I am happy that I was able to buy those headlights for the cappuccino, that was something I really needed. And then while I'm out here, I'm gonna see if I find some rims. I really want some three spokes and then a seat, of course. We're gonna find a seat, but a seat I'm not really too worried about because I feel like someone in America most likely will trade their stock seat for my seat. So that's not something on the top of my priority list. Headlights for sure. And then those other maintenance things I showed you guys in the last video. But I'm gonna end this video here. Catch you guys on the next one. Can't wait to continue to be in Japan and make some great videos. So here's a quick haul of mostly everything I got. Some things I got for myself, like I mentioned, that's for the cappuccino. I definitely wanna keep a bunch of these. And most of this stuff, I don't really need and i will be going back to the store this weekend so if you see something here that you want or something i didn't buy you could definitely message me on patreon or instagram or facebook but i got two of these both for sale i'm gonna post this on the patreon i got one of these paul walker nsx i got an hks tile that i think is a pretty hot item i think some people are gonna want that got this tn coilover keychain this is a reservoir little cover this is one of the cool things. I just feel like these always come in red. And to see one in black, in like a matte black, I think just is fire. And then I want to get a lot of these shift knobs. Not this style per se, but I think a lot of these K cars come with some boring shift knobs. And if we could spice it up with something like this for, you know, 50 bucks, something like that, it's worth it. And then I got this lanyard. So I'm definitely gonna end this here. This is just some of the stuff I bought on day one. There's more things in there that I'm not really gonna show. But thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.